Hello, in this video I'll review I'll review my weekend. So Friday, October 16, 2015. The family spent 45 minutes in the car waiting for a person to give me her phone. So what else happened? We ended up talking, which was interaction. And then to my surprise, we came home and we continued talking, all of us. The topic at home was, are you a Christian? Which some people would say, it's a yes or no, and they just give me a, a difficult answer. They say things like, I'm a Catholic. So then, today I finally said, are you a follower of Jesus? And she said, yes. It's like pulling teeth. All right, we had a lovely dinner on Friday with the daughter, too. I did plenty of painting with the five-year-old boy. And my big brother in Christ helped me organize the wood. Okay, today is Saturday, and this is my to-do list. Call Mr. M. I didn't do it. I didn't go read with him. But then, today, my own children, I was babysitting them. I did paint and organize the wood. I did make videos. I did not take snacks to the cousin and quasi-cousins. Okay. It will have to be on Monday. And I did put the big shelf items into boxes in the garage. So I'm going to show you what a big achievement I made. Uh, this, that piece of wood is a bookshelf. Here we have a door. A bed frame for a single bed. And here is the humongous... All that silver is a big book uh, bookshelf, but it's not for books. It's a book. It's a shelf. It's the kind you find at a supermarket. It says Publix number something, 100 or something. So I used it. I put it on the floor sideways, and I used it to organize the wood. And it did a great job. So this is my room right now in the garage. And I'm very pleased with the way the wood looks. Alright, tonight we were able to have a family meeting. And one person wants the thermos. I have it. I don't know where exactly it is. The reason I have it is because I didn't want it to disappear on me because I like that thermos so that I can go have cereal in the mornings when I take the kids to school and today is Saturday and I already heard several comments about don't use it and stuff like that but I like that thermos and it helps me have my cereal in the mornings I'll show you what my son drew with the markers while we were taking notes at the family meeting tonight after dinner we were writing complaints basically about people um, the big brother in Christ my son couldn't find anything yet to complain about about Daniel Daniel says please help me he says that too much Please help me, please help me, please help me. And Daniel needs a job. This is a 10 year old. And about his mother, 
overworker. Overworker, yeah. She wasn't home all day today. So, another person says, Daniel is a bully. He's annoying too much. He doesn't help. It says no help, no job. Well, job. It means no job. She doesn't sleep. She doesn't. Oh, Daniel doesn't listen. And about her brother, Max plays too much. Daniel, very erratic. Consistently changing. Okay, the word is constantly, but she used the word consistently. It should be consistently changing. Stop bothering us. Clean the house. You're a stay-at-home dad. Stay at home dad. You're supposed to clean the house. That's what it means. She explained. SMH. What could that be? I don't know. But of course the artist drew something that was pretty. The hands. So that was cute. And mine... I didn't write any, I didn't make any drawings. I just wrote down the numbers. Uh, one complaint about a particular person was that there's wood in the garage. Well, I'll explain that nobody can walk into the shed because it has too many things. So that's why I am taking things out of the shed like this door and the wood. So that I can paint the wood so it begins to look pretty so that a particular person doesn't throw it out. All right. After I finish, I will build a workplace, a workshop area. Then Daniel's uh, turn to speak was there. So I said that I don't like people wasting time. I was referring to the video games. Another thing I don't like is that the kids won't clean up without being told. And one particular person doesn't obey me. Then a particular person said that she wants Max to play the piano again. All right, so play the piano. So I suggested that we play it on Saturdays and Sundays. Because you see, if they're in school, they're wasting their time because it takes away so much time. And since it takes away so much time, you're not getting things done. Because by the time the children get home from school, they don't really come home with the positive attitude necessary to get things done. All right. Another young man said, Daniel, get a job and stop saying, please help me. Then my big brother in Christ said, Dan won't walk with me. He's upset without the dog. So I said, I won't walk without the dog. Because the dog pulls me. And if I saw that you were sincere, you could do a hundred things. But if I see one thing that you're doing that's wrong for your body, as far as like drinking uh, soda or Even if you change it to iced tea or something, you're not drinking water, I, I complain. 
And the second complaint by Big Brother in Christ was that Daniel changes his plans instantly. Or, I change plans. Okay, that's about going to Walmart and things like that. All right, so I'll tell you about, I met a young man that impressed me because he is polite and humble. This is very strange to see somebody like yourself, only 20 years or so or more, more years younger. He works at Walmart. So I invited him. To do a Bible study with me. We exchanged phone numbers. We'll find out what happens. God is in control. But I remember how I was attracted to certain older men that could teach me things. One was a co-worker. And he told me how he had two daughters and he told them to put makeup on. They were both married, or not living at home at least. I think they were both married at that time. Thank you for mopping the floor. You know that we are in the time of the pulga now. Mimi no para de arrascarse. I'll do my best to give her a shower tomorrow. I saw the dog shampoo. You said the same yesterday for today. I did? Yeah. Well, get somebody to help me then. I don't want to do it by myself. You never do thing by yourself. See you in the morning. God bless you. All right, my friends. It's been a good report. See you next time. Don't give up. Keep a ray of hope. Like God sent my big brother in Christ to help me. He suggested family meetings. God sent that young man to study the Bible with me. Most likely we will get together because I felt the attraction. He needs wisdom and I have wisdom to give. I'm very old now, I'm 43. Victor Hugo said, 40 is the old age of youth, and 50 is the youth of old age. Good night, friends. I love you. Take good care of yourself. Go do a good deed. Learn carpentry. Learn how to paint. Keep learning those useful things. Be polite.